Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Tom, and this is Circle City Breaks. Normally I save the new releases till the end of the video, but this week we're going to start with it. Uh, we have Upper Deck Credentials Hockey coming out, uh, as well as Leaf Best of Sports. So nothing with tops, no panini, no traditional baseball, football, or basketball. The Leaf Sports will have um, those sports in there, but they will be um, all buyback um, cards. Uh, but the one thing that I did want to talk about, although the hobby version of Panini Mosaic for basketball has not come out yet, uh, the retail is out and it's pretty hot right now with prices three to four times retail uh, being sold on the secondary market. This product does have Zion Williams in it, which is one reason why it's commanding a lot. And Mosaic is a first year product, and right now we are currently seeing the first year of Panini Prism Football going at ridiculous prices, and people are in search of just the base cards for players like Drew Brees and Tom Brady. And that could be another reason why Mosaic's price is up. People want to collect this first year product, or in anticipation that uh, it becomes like Prism has. Last week's release of Bowman First Edition um, stumbled out of the gate. Tops had lots of trouble with uh, handling the large crowds on their website. I know on Wednesday I tried to get on there, couldn't even get in to put in a uh, username and password to sign into my account. Um, and I know a lot of people struggled to uh, purchase cards as well. I didn't get around to it. I didn't even attempt on Thursday. Um, so this probably isn't a product that I'll be uh, looking to, to get. There's no way I'm gonna pay the, the extra money to buy it on the secondary market. Also this week, I saw where Joe Burrow signed an exclusive deal with Fanatics to sign memorabilia such as helmets and posters, footballs, um, but this will not affect him signing cards for Panini. And lastly, uh, there was an article that I found really interesting with uh, Daniel Tillo uh, is a minor league pitcher for the Royals and also a card collector and there's a little bit of a story about him purchasing, purchasing some one-of-one -one cards of his own um, and then uh, another person finding out that he was a purchaser and uh, getting him a one-of-one -one for free. Um, so I'll link that in the description below so you can uh, check it out. And now it's time to check out the eBay sales of the week. This week we saw the orange parallel of the Luis Robert uh, Tribute Auto sell for a penny under $1,000. And this Al Kaline printing plate, one of one, went for $1,500. I have to assume partially because of the passing of him that helped the price go up. And the uh, highest priced uh, Topps Tribute sale on eBay was this Mike Trout. Prime Patch Auto Relic 1 of 1 that went for $6,400. New for eBay sales this week, we have a Mike Trout Ultra Patch Auto 2 of 12 for $1,300 and the 3 of 12 for $1,495. When laid across 1 through 6 on top of 7 through 12, it creates the chest plate from the jerseys. And the top selling for Definitive last week was the Framed Auto, number to five, for $2,000. So this Jordan Love Black Ice Auto um, didn't crack the top three for draft picks, but it did sell last week for $1,000, and I wanted to show that it was resold this past week for uh, $1,750. We had two Joe Burrow gold vinyl autos, number to five, sell last week, both of them for $24.50. This one being the uh, number two in the sequence, and this one being number one in the sequence. And beating out Joe Burrow this week was the two attack of Aloha, black ice auto uh, that went for $2,500. With Flawless, we saw the Drew Lock Rookie Patch Auto 1 of 1 go for 5100 
and the Kyler Murray rookie patch booklet uh, brand logo number to two go for the same price. And this Tom Brady veteran booklet brand logo um, was the top seller. Now it was on the list last week, but I'm assuming because it had the same seller that the buyer did not pay, so it was relisted. Last week it sold for over 18,000, and this week just over 11,000. So that's gonna be all I have for this week. Um, obviously as new releases are coming to a halt and the manufacturing plants are shut down, uh, there's not a lot to talk about, but hopefully there'll be some news continuing weekly that I can keep bringing to you. The best news would be that sports are coming back. So any kind of news that we get, I'll hopefully have here ready for you. Once again, thanks for checking out my channel. I'll see you guys next time.